911. Where's your emergency? Hey, hello, there's someone breaking in my house. Help. What's Help. the address you're at? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. King County 911, what is the location of your emergency? Okay, ma'am. Hello? Hello? Yes, I need you to take a couple deep breaths so I can see what's going on. What is the address where you need this to come? 130 CMAC. Okay, what, and what is the telephone number you're calling from in case we get disconnected? Uh, I, I don't know this number. I know my cell phone number. Okay, what is that number? It's... it's it's 304-565. Okay, who am I speaking with? My name is Russell Faria. Russell, what's going on there? I just got home from a friend's house, and, and my, wife, my wife killed herself. She's, she's, she's on the floor. Okay, Russell, I need you to calm down, honey, okay? I need you to calm down, take a couple deep breaths. We're going to get somebody on the way there, okay? <laughs> what What did she do? Do you know? She got a knife in her neck and she slashed her arms. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, honey. <laughs> Is she breathing at all? No. She is not breathing? No, there's a bunch of blood. I'm okay. okay. Russell, is there anybody that we can call for you? Call, call. Call my mom. Okay, Russell, take a couple deep breaths on, okay? Okay, what is your mom's name? I'm I'm sorry, I can't understand you, hon. Lucy. Lucy? And what's her last name? Faria. How old is your wife? My wife, she's, she's, she's 42. 32? 42. 42. Okay, and you're for sure she's not breathing right now? No, you did. Okay. What is your mother's phone number? My phone number is, is, is 636 Okay. <laughs> okay, they're on the way, honey. They're just calm down for me, okay? <laughs> Russell, how long were you gone today? I, I, I left around five. And I just got back. But she was at her mom's and her friend was bringing her home, so I don't know what time she got home. And you said that... Uh... <coughs> Has she been depressed lately? <laughs> she's got, she's got, she's got, she's got cancer. She is, but she does have cancer. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, Russell? Where's the knife now? It's, it's, it's in the I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you said, hon. It's laying right next to her? No, it's in her neck. It's in her neck? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I wish she do this to me. I wish she do Russell, they're on the way, hon, okay? They'll be there shortly. <laughs> Is there anybody else there in the house with you? No, no. There's nobody else here. <laughs> Russell, take a couple deep breaths, honey, okay? 
Was she on any was she on any medication? <laughs> okay, can you do me a favor? What I need you to do is I need to get those I need you to get those medications for the paramedics, okay? Uh, I think they're here on the table. Yeah, we have we have everybody coming to you, okay? <laughs> But what I need you to do is take a couple deep breaths and try to get her medication together, okay? Russell, where where are her medications? They're on the table. Okay, where? There's the pill bottles here. I think these are it. Okay, where is she in the house? She's 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 in the living room. In the living room. Okay. Where are you right now? <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. God. Russell, they're on the way, hon, okay? Oh my God. Take a couple deep breaths, okay? I don't need you hyperventilating, okay? Oh my God! What am I gonna do? Oh my God! Oh God! What is her name? Her name is Patsy. Betsy? Yes. Oh, Betsy. <laughs> no. Oh, my God, no. No, her friend dropped. She went to her friend's house and her friend dropped her off. She was at her mom's house. At her house. mom's house and her friend dropped her off. And her friend was going to bring her home from her mom's house. <laughs> They're on the way, hon. What am I going to do? Just go ahead and wait for them to get there, okay? I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, my God. Oh. Russell, she, do you think that she's beyond help right now? I think she's dead. Okay. Oh, my God. God. Okay, just take a couple deep breaths for me, hon. If you need to, step outside, okay? Oh. Russell, take a couple deep breaths, honey, okay? I'm trying. Oh, my God, no. Oh, my God. Do you have dogs outside? My, my dog, my dog. He's on the chain. Okay. He's in the backyard. Okay. He's <laughs> oh. Russell, I have a couple officers that are out there right now. Can you do me a favor and open your front door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's unlocked. It's unlocked. Okay, can you go meet him at the door? It's unlocked. It's unlocked. <laughs> Russell, are the officers inside with you now? Oh, my God. Yeah, this is, this is right here. 
Okay, well, good luck to you, honey. I'm going to go ahead and hang up, and we're going to try to call your mom, okay? All right. Bye-bye. Russ Faria almost didn't believe it, walking out to the lobby of the Lincoln County Jail to see his family. He hugged his mom while he seemed to cry and laugh at the same time. He walked out to a continuous stream of relatives and friends. I was surprised. <laughs> I knew everybody was trying to get me out, but I didn't know it would be this soon. You know, they come back and told me to pack my stuff. So I kind of figured I was going. I was just got off the phone trying to call my mom. So. <laughs> He's out on a half a million dollar bond put up by family members, including cousin Mary Anderson, who put her house on the line. Faria walked onto a shuttle donated by the company to keep his family together. Get back caught up with everybody, feel normal again, you know, uh, no bars or fences. I mean, it's just... I think it's still sinking in, really, at this point. Russ's wife, Betsy, died in December of 2011. Police found her with more than 50 stab wounds. Fox 2 was the only media outlet to cover his trial, and we exposed evidence suppressed by a judge regarding a friend of Betsy's who benefited from the proceeds of a $150,000 life insurance policy. In February of this year, the appeals court ordered a hearing to consider a new trial. Then a new judge ordered that new trial. Free as attorney Joel Schwartz will defend him again. This time, Schwartz hopes the jury will hear the suppressed evidence, evidence exposed in our Fox Files reports over the last 18 months since Russ Faria's conviction. I think it made a world of difference. I think, uh, especially your report, since you've been, from what I understand, being in Jeff City, I didn't get to catch any of the local news here in St. Louis, but I understand you've been updating usually about once a month, and I think that's kept things in people's minds and kept things on the forefront. Faria says he's confident his new trial will be different. The original judge recused herself, so we have a new judge, and albeit I was only in the courtroom for a couple of hours with him, he seemed to be very fair. You know, he's fair for both sides, so he's going to do what's right, and that's all I ever wanted was a fair trial, which I didn't get the first time. Um, yeah. Got some cards here. Thanks. Track of all the players. That's me. Exchange of cards. I don't have a card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to leave. Uh, you're the guest star. Oh, damn. Matt and Mike and I will know who you are. Yep. All right, well, I appreciate you coming up here. Um, obviously, this is voluntary. If, if any time you guys want to leave, just say the word and we'll escort you back down there. We'll do. It's a little bit of a maze, but we'll get, get you down there. All right. Um, I just had some things we wanted to talk to you about. Um, Obviously, there's been some information released to the media, mm -hmm. and um, my understanding is that you guys have reached out to the prosecutor's office to um, cooperate with us or come up here and ask, answer questions, mm -hmm. and that's great. <coughs> um, I wanted to start with uh, what have you heard in the media? What do you know about the case so far? Well, I've. I, I would know, say I would say the most most of his information will come from us. Okay. And I think he's reviewed the. But, but, you know. Yeah, and what Chris Hayes has reported on the news. Okay. Yeah, I know there's <clears throat> there's news and then there's social media and all of those sort of things. So. Okay. Um, most of what I've heard has come from Joel, or like okay. I said, what I've seen on Fox Two. Did Joel? What information did you guys get that you would have relayed to him? All right, so uh, I think we would have said, uh, well, what I told him is we're aware, generally speaking, that um, Pam has been questioned, that there's a shooting at her house, that there's a third party 
a victim in the case uh, whose name I haven't shared with Russ, um, that uh, Pam, in making statements and cooperating with the investigation, has made some type of an implication that she had a theory that Russ was potentially involved in hiring someone to kill her, um, and that's about it. Okay. okay. Um, so if I showed you this picture, does that person look familiar to you at all? Do you recognize him from anywhere? Not at all. Not at all? Okay. Other than the news and... Have you seen his picture on the news? Picture at all? Um, I think some people posted it on Facebook, actually, the last couple of days. Okay. But not familiar at all? Not that particular picture, but another one. Okay. And this picture here looks similar to what you've seen on the... Yes. Okay. And he's not familiar at all. Anyone you know? Does he seem familiar to anyone that you know? This guy? Mm, nobody I know of said anything that he looked familiar at all, no. Okay. So no, nobody in your group has indicated that they've ever seen this guy or had any dealings with him or anything like that? Not at all, no. Um, can you tell me that do you do you own any silver four door vehicles or do you uh, do you drive any silver four door type of passenger vehicle? I don't have any access to a vehicle like that. My my car is a charcoal gray Jeep. Charcoal gray Jeep. Yeah, it's uh, very dark gray. Most people would even call it almost black. Okay. What kind of Jeep? It's it's a Jeep Wrangler. Okay. It it's got a lift. It's a it's a very recognizable car. If you saw it, you'd know it. It's out here in the parking lot. It's got big bumpers, big tires. Okay. You know, it's gotcha. So a hard top kind. or a rag top? It's got a hard top on it right now. Uh, okay. I've never put the rag top on it. All right. And you don't have any access or, or to a silver four-door vehicle? Nope. Okay. And, and where do you live at? I live in Lake St. Louis. And what would the address be? So 120 Sun Glow Drive. Okay. And is that your home or your parents' home? It's my parents' home. And your parents, who are they? Lucy and Richard Faria. Okay. And so do they current you live with them or and my sister Rachel, yes. And your sister Rachel. Okay. Um with that house hey, well let me ask you this. Has anyone ever your mother, has anyone ever referred to her as Mom Faria? Or Mama Faria? No, I have maybe one close friend that will call her mom, but won't call her mom Faria. He just calls her mom. Okay. Because we've known each other since second grade. But other than that, nobody refers to her as that at all, no. And okay. what, what is that person's name? Chad Bombershine. Chad Bombershine? Mm-hmm. And do you know anyone named Stevie? No, I have a friend named Steve and a cousin named Steve, but they've never been referred to as Stevie at all. Okay. And Russ, just answer their questions. Do you know someone named Stevie? No. Okay. You, everybody knows a Steve. Right. But they've asked you a different question than that. Do you know a, a person that goes by the name of Stevie? No. 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 All right, and um, going back to the house at 120 Sun Glow, um, is there a wood pile anywhere outside of the house? A wood pile? No. Yeah. No wood pile at all? What, uh, was there ever a wood pile? Maybe like That's some cut up tree branches, you know, that we were disposing of. But no. again, Russ, if you don't, if you've never seen a wood pile, just yeah. answer the question no. Don't speculate or put, you know, put what, tree I branches. I tell you what, we. With something like this, anything that comes to his mind, we just soon have in there, as opposed to uh, yes and no's. Um, and this will all make sense. This will, he'll explain all this, and this will all make sense. And uh, again, you know, we appreciate you coming down. This is, you know, um, my idea of why we're here is to is to try to cooperate to some extent. Mm -hmm. Not to go through a series of 300 questions where we're, where we're fishing. 
to give a DNA sample, to give a handwriting sample, and to deny any contact, uh, to make a statement helping to assist your case in denying a statement, uh, denying that he, had, he hired Pam, to, hired anybody to do any harm to Pam. Mm -hmm. It was kind of basic and kind of compact. Where you guys are going is you're asking a bunch of questions that we have no information regarding. So I'm looking to try and simplify this cooperation process. Sure, I understand. By advising my client appropriately on how I think it's more best apt to cooperate with you guys. I understand that. Okay. In that then, so as far as trying, providing a DNA sample or a buckle sample, we were good with that. Yep. Um, fingerprints, was that talked about or not? We're glad to do it. Okay, and then the handwriting exemplar? We're glad to do it. Okay. Um, well, with the handwriting exemplar, let me... And, and again, guys, if Russ wants to step out and you guys want to have a conversation with me about wood piles and home addresses and Steve's, I would like to do I'm that. I'm glad to do that too. Absolutely. Okay. And I'll reconsider my position to try to, you know, Okay, that, that, it's glad to probably be easier that way. Sounds good. Why don't you step out for two seconds? I'll walk down here and get a drink of water. Sounds good. Well, let, let me see if there's someone that can, I don't want you yeah. to run scare <laughs> okay. okay. You can just stand out with your back against the door, too. <laughs> I can do that, too, either way. Russ in here and then us three. Sounds good. Here. Yeah, easier. Okay. There it works. I'm flexible.
Um, Mr. Furrier, what I was going to do next is I was going to show you uh, a copy of a note and see if you recognize that handwriting or recognize anything about that note. You go ahead and read it if you can. If you can. If you don't understand part of it, it's difficult to read at times. First question they have to ask is, did you write it? No. Okay. Did you write it? Do you recognize the handwriting at all? No, it's messy. <laughs> okay. And you know, after having read this, do you do you have any involvement in in um, this incident that occurred at Pam Hub's house? No. You didn't hire anybody to go uh, try to harm her. No? No. Okay. Um, and you're not, are you aware of anyone that would have done this? No. All right. And there was a reason why he, he asked you earlier about Stevie. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you know if there's anybody, you can see where it is here? This is almost like a to-do list. Yeah. For the incident. And Stevie, the reason we brought that up is, is there anybody that you know that Pamela might know that she would call him Stevie or anything like that? No. Okay. Is, is there anybody, now, your mother's name, your friends know your mom's first name? Yes. And do they call her by the first name or do they call her mom? You said there's only one guy that calls there's her mom. There's only one friend that calls her mom. Most everybody calls her by her first name or they call her Mrs. Faria. Okay. So when he says mom Faria's house and the wood pile and everything, that, would that be anybody that you would know would even phrase something like that? No, not at all. Okay. Okay. Um, we also want to get a DNA sample through the bubble swab. I have that kit here. What we have is a um, cons consent to I'm do gonna that. I'm going to let you do that. I'll be right back. Four. Okay. Did you want to let that over? Sure. And then I, where it says other, I was going to put fingerprints. No problem. Okay. Form, I'll just put an X where you would need to fill in your portion of it and then I'll fill in this. Kind of lost track of the date. 22. She got time. We are at 12 30. Um, I should put it. Those are two things that we would like to get a sample of. Buckle sample just means I'm going to swap the inside of your mouth for mm -hmm. DNA, and then the fingerprints. Someone is going to have the uh, an electronic link your fingerprints. Okay. Put your name there. Signature there.
The other thing they want to ask you about, but I'm not going to let you answer it until you and I can talk in my office, is they want to ask you what you were doing on two specific days. But I want to talk to you about that before we answer. And then I'll, I will, I'm going to call the detective back, and you're going to come into the office this week. And we'll supplement this interview by likely giving them the, that information. Okay. But I didn't want to hear about it for the first time. When you give it, I want to sit down and talk to you about it. Okay. Okay. And likewise, if we have any questions or something else comes up, just contact you. Yep, let me, and I'll give you on my card, you'll have my okay. email address so you can Super. hit me with a bunch of your okay. the things that we bring up. Um, it's just a simple, it's kind of a cotton bin swab. Mm -hmm. I'm grab it, swab in. Yeah, I'll do it for you. Thank you. Notebook for um, for the same handwriting, please? the handwriting uh, sample. I will um, just have you write. Excuse me. Okay. Would you call Debbie Toretti and see if you can push my appointment from 1:30 back to two? Yeah, I'm running late. Yes, it should be. It should be on the outside of the file. Thank you. Let me go. I have a notepad up there. Let me go get that, and then I will just have you. I'm going to, how I was foresee this going is that I will just dictate a portion of the note, and then if you can uh, write it down with your, starting with your right hand, just we'll write that 10 times. And then we'll switch to the left hand and write that ten times, and then that should be sufficient. Okay. And then um, the last thing we would do on the way out is to do the fingerprints, and then I think that covers everything. Sounds good. Okay. I'll be right back with you.
So I want you to call me later on today. Okay. I want to see, go back and look at a count of the date. But no, the, the date. Yeah, the day the gentleman was shot was the 16th. Mm -hmm. They also want to know where you were on August the 10th. I can tell you where I was on the 16th or August the 10th, so I don't. I don't want them hearing it for the first time when you're trying to figure out what you were doing at relevant times. I want you to go back. I'm not looking in the calendar. I really couldn't tell you. Other than you say 16th was the day the guy was shot. I know what I was doing because Joel and I talked about that. But okay. I was at home. And With who? my mom and sister were there. And I had took a shower. And uh, my mom and sister was getting ready to go to the store. And I got out of the shower and I was sitting on the couch. My, my dad works up here at Schnooks, and somebody he works with lives two doors down from Pam Huff, and called him and told him what was going on over there before it ever hit the news. So he called me and talked to me. I was at home when he called me and talked to me, and right after that, I was on the phone with Mary Jo, who is downstairs, and we had a lengthy conversation. That was all I between. Who's Mary Jo? She's my cousin downstairs. She lives at this house too? No, she lives at her house over here in O'Fallon, but after I got off the phone with my father, I was texting Joel and I texted Mary and she called me. And so I had a lengthy conversation with her and then one with Joel too. They call your cell phone or your home? Or my line? cell phone, that's the only phone I use. Okay. So you, on the sixth, what, what time did all this happen around noon? I want to say it was probably okay. let's, between let's, twelve thirty and one o'clock when my father called me. Let's not have let's not have a lengthy conversation in this room. Right, that's what I was kind of thinking. thinking. Yeah, but yeah, I would say between twelve thirty and one when my father called me. And you were sleeping? Oh, you were sleeping, and, and then woke up. And well, no, I was taking a shower and just got warm. Well, but you don't shower for you don't shower for four hours, so that morning. Right. You woke up, got out of bed at what time? Probably nine o'clock. If I had to guess, I normally wake up between eight and nine, so sit around and have coffee, breakfast, normal stuff. Yeah, but we got four hours to, to come up with here. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it when we leave here, okay? Mm -hmm. If you wake up at eight and this guy got shot around noon and we have four hours. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you you're saying that your mom and your sister were there all morning and you mm -hmm. were there all morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, if you want to come into the office and we want to set up a time to call this guy tomorrow. Yeah, we can do that. Because I want to I want to find out from you today what you were doing on the 10th. Mm -hmm. I want you to go back and look at him and maybe call again tomorrow. What time do you want me to come in? We'll check out his schedule, see what he's got going on. Okay. fishing trip on Wednesday, but I think I'm going to be canceling that. Why? Well, if something goes down with her, I want to watch. <laughs> a friend of mine's father, uh, his brother just committed suicide this weekend. There's going to be a funeral. So oh, I'm sorry. I have to stay in town for that. So that'll make me available for other things too, obviously. Yeah, don't want, don't want this slowing down. No, no. Well, that, Joel called me on Thursday, and I'm like, I'm at the lake. <laughs> Unless it's absolutely necessary for me to be here on Friday, I'm going to stay at the lake. And he understood that, you know.
no pads uh, to use. And what I will do is um, I'm just going to read out loud this to you, and then whatever you hear, write. Yes. Okay. Um, and I was just going to do this first one here and this one here. Okay. So that should be sufficient. All right. Um, Stevie, follow up. One, two, or I'm sorry, hold on. Um, the way this is written, it's next line. Here. So the next line, on the next line, one, two, six, zero. Little, brave. Next line, blonde, older, and short. So you're kind of printing. Is that how you normally write? Yeah, I don't. Do you write in cursive or I mean, I, I'm not, not very to... often unless I'm signing my name. Okay. Okay. If you want me to, I can. I would say write it how you normally write. That's how I normally write. All right, if you could skip two lines and the next get up in car in garage. Next line. Take to bank get Russ money. Next line. Should be 800 to 180,000, 180,000, All right, and then I'll take this page and then do And then the same thing again. Ready? Mm -hmm. Stevie, follow up. New line, one, two, six, zero. A little brave. Next line, blonde, older, and short. And then skip two lines. Get up in car in garage. New line. Take to bank. Get Russ money. Should be, sorry, new line. Eight hundred two one eight zero 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 zero. All right. Ready. Mm -hmm. Stevie, follow up. New line, one, two, six, zero, little brave. New line, blonde, older, and short. Uh, let's get two lines, get up in car. In garage. New line, take to bank, get Russ money.
new line should be 800. to 180,000. Ready? Stevie, follow up. One, two, six, zero, little brave. line, blonde, older, and short. And let's get two lines. Get up in car. In garage. New line. Take the bank. Get Russ money. New line should be 800 to 180,000. Stevie, follow up. One, two, six, zero. A little brave. New line, blonde, older, and short. And let's get to lines. Get up in car. Then new line, take the bank, get Russ money. Should be eight hundred to one hundred eighty thousand. You ready? Mm -hmm. Stevie, follow up. New line one two six zero little brave. Then new line blonde older and short. And skip two lines again. Get up in car and garage. New line, take the bank, get Russ money. Should be 800 to 180,000. Follow up. One, two, six, zero, little brave. Blonde, older, and short. Can't do okay? Yeah, just don't write too much. <laughs> Not since school, I think. All right, um, skip two lines and then get up in car, in garage. Uh, new line, take the bank, get Russ money.
should be 800 to 180,000. follow up. One, two, six, zero, a little brave. Blonde, older, and short. And then skip two lines, get up in car and garage. New line, take the bank, get Russ money. New line should be 800 to 180,000. Follow Huck. One, two, six, zero, little brave. Blonde, older, and short. And let's get two lines. Get up in car and garage. New line, take the bank, get Russ money. New line should be 800 to 180,000. Follow up. One, two, six, zero, little brave. Blonde, older, and short. And skip to get up in car and garage. Take the bank, get Russ money. Should be eight hundred to one hundred eight thousand. with your right hand. Are you able to write with your left hand? <laughs> <laughs> I can try. Okay. Uh, do the same thing but with your left hand. Stevie, follow up. It's going to come out like a four-year-old did it. And we're going to be here for 18 hours too. Line one, two, six, zero. Little brave. And then the next line, blonde.
older and short. And then skip two lines, get up. Next line, take to bank. Get Russ money. Should be eight hundred to one hundred eight thousand. One, two, six, zero, little brave. Blonde, older, and short. Get up in car in garage. Take the bank. To get, take to bank, get Russ money. Should be eight hundred to one hundred eight thousand.
try to do it again? Yeah, I'm going to try. Stevie, follow up. One, two, six, zero, low brave. Blonde, older, and short. Get help in car, in garage. Take to bank, get Russ money. Should be eight hundred to one hundred eighty thousand. Follow up. One, two, six, zero, little brave. Blonde, older, and short. Get help in car and garage. Take the bank, get Russ money. Thank you. 
should be 800 to 180,000. One, two, six, zero, a little brave. Blonde, older, and short. Get help in car in garage. Take the bank, get Russ money. Should be eight hundred to one hundred eighty thousand. specifics on 8, 10, and 8, 16, 8, 16. and okay. he's glad to get the fingerprints uh, today. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know it was going to That's fine. Gonna be, you know, Let me, uh, I think the guy that's going to do the fingerprints is right outside. Let me, uh, and I don't need to be here. I trust the fingerprints. Yeah, I trust okay. him as well. Ask him any more questions. What time do you want us to call you tomorrow? Do you have availability in the morning? Um, good question. The number on this card that I gave you, if you can call... You can call me just whenever you're ready in the morning. Yeah, if I, I don't, think if I don't answer, if you call the general number, it will give you options. Dis or Detective Bureau is one of those options. Just press that and it will give you the general. Someone will answer if I can. No problem. I'll be real punctual. So if um, you'll be in my office at 9.30, we will call you by 10, at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay. That'll work. With that number. And you're good. They're not going to ask you any more questions okay. um, and cooperate with the fingerprinting. And I will see you at 9.30 tomorrow. All right. All right. See you then. All right.
Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you again. Appreciate it. All right. Why don't you have a seat? And, uh, okay. Oh, you don't have to run around. Just stand here. Okay. You know, you're out of here? Okay. He's going to get stuck. He's going to get stuck. He's going to do fingerprints. Yes. Yes, because he got to get stuck in that hole. All right. How's it going, sir? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yourself? Not too bad. Fine, fine motor skill there, huh? All right. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll be right here. Okay. Your name's Russ. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Rick Patton. It's nice to meet you, Rick. Yeah, you too. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. And I'm going to have to, Russ, I have to have you stand because I, obviously, I got a little, bit of, a little bit of cord issue there, so let me, uh, I'm gonna swing around on your right hand side. Mm -hmm. uh, you have any problems with your knuckles? Any broken bro broken joints, knuckles, anything like that? Any no, bad scars can't. from work or anything? No, just okay. Let me grab a, let me grab my gloves real quick here, and then I'll be right back with you. Like I always like to ask guys that work with their hands a lot of times if they sometimes they get their fingers jammed or something doing construction or they or they squash them in between two bricks or something. So <laughs> just oh, I just have screwy fingers anyway. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> just making sure I'm not uh, getting a hold of somebody's finger that's got a bad uh, something bad. So all righty. All right. We're going to start with your right hand here, Ross. Okay. Okay. Give me your right thumb. Okay. Just kind of stay nice and relaxed for me. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I used the old school machine here. Kind of relax it just a tad bit for okay. me there, bro. There we go. All right. Over here. Honest with you, I'm probably going to do two sets here just to That's make fine. sure they're all okay here. So, okay, all right, and we're going to do the best we can to switch spots. I know this cord, I'll tell you what, I know this cord's kind of move over here. Yeah, I know this cord's kind of in the way here, but. I'll try and be as accommodating yeah. as I can. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's say that. Yeah, I hear you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. I did. It wasn't hard to stop the door. Alright, yes. Uh, like I said, I haven't done the, the old school one in a while, so I'm going to do two sets, Matt, just to make sure that I haven't used this uh, haven't used this one in a while. Kind of relax that one just a hair. Mm -hmm. Or is that one of your ones? That's that one of my screwy ones. I got gotcha. you. in the family. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I end up having to redo a couple of these. Okay, then your left four fingers right like that.
uh, switch your spots again there, Russ. All right. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to end up having to... About, about got our dance card full already here yeah. on this cord here, don't we? We're going to get dinner and drinks later or what? Well, <laughs> I <don't> know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got. I, I I I have the condition. I believe it's called two left feet when I dance. So yeah, that's why I try not to dance. Yeah, I hear you. I'll just stand over in the corner and tap my foot. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I don't even know if I could keep the rhythm doing that or not. Some days. So. Once again, again. Yeah. All right. Yeah, here we go. That's one way here. Gonna get this on the edge. Get a little bit of fresher ink here. So. There we go. Let me just gonna get this in. I'm gonna knock this thing off the table because I really don't want to pay for it. Yeah, that wouldn't be too good, huh? Yeah. That would probably be not good. there for a little bit. Let's we'll see how we see how we're doing here. I'll see if I can get uh, something for you to wipe your hands off on. So. So I'm going to have you sign both of these here. Okay. And right there, signature first and fingerprint. I need to sign that top box there for me, please. All right. And I'm going to do that with the other one too, so.
Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm just uh, I did two sets just to make sure. There's a couple of. Let's see the, uh, these these old these old school ones are not very good. So I run the same thing right there. Okay. I'm fingerprint it. I'm gonna uh, talk to the boss here real quick and make sure so. You care if I leave this in here for just a quick second if he needs me to redo them again or so. Good to me. Need anything? Um, I don't know what you have to offer. Water? No, I'll be all right. I just okay. gonna wash my hands on oh, the okay. bathroom on the way up. Uh, you may have some kind of wipes around here. All right. Okay. Get this out of your way here before one of us trips over it, namely me. So that would not be a good thing. No, my luck. So yeah. All right. I just got to get it back downstairs without dropping any yeah. steps. All right. Yeah. Okay. In the bathroom. Yeah. It's probably just got a little bit of red on there, but nothing. nothing yeah. 